Hi everybody, this is Richard Tor from Smith Cooper. Uh, welcome to our latest Sage 200 video which covers purchase order processing. So today we're going to cover entering a simple purchase order into the system. Now we will be having future videos on a more detailed, so each element of the purchase order entry, um, so more detailed videos to follow, but this one is just a quick uh, refresher, I suppose, for anybody who knows how to enter a sales a purchase order even and, uh, and can work through the system. So. Without further ado, let's have a look at the system. So what we do is open up Sage 200, we go into purchase order processing, purchase orders, and we have an option here to say enter a new purchase order. So we have the option to put a code in, an account code, a short name, or a postcode. We'll just click on the drop down list and we can scroll through, but if we would have typed it in, it would have filtered it. So uh, it doesn't matter who, so let's just uh, select one of them on here. Which location are we going to supply? Two, so uh, we've got multiple locations enabled, and when is the delivery requested? This will be the dates that populate through all the items, but each individual item can have its own dates if you want to. And if there's a reference number either from the supplier from a proposal, um, or um, if you want to add your own reference on top. So we'll add items on. So very similar if you've uh, seen the purchase, the sales order processing even. So we've got a standard item, free text item, additional charge or comment. So I'm going to put in a stock item. So percent means containing. So we're going to go through and I'm going to go for dishwasher. Let's have that one in there. I can tab if I want to, to scroll through uh, each of the elements for speed. We want three of them, keep the price the same. No discount, no landed costs, that's everything that we want in there. And then we can just click on save. So it's building up the order underneath uh, and we can just uh, put in anything we like in here. So same again, if we want a free text, we just put the price in, we put the quantity, which is there, the location that we want to receive it in. It could be a different location on the same purchase order. Click on save and any additional charges. Let's say delivery, it's going to cost us £10 for delivery uh, and any comment lines, we can put any information into there. So we'll put please deliver to the Derby office, green door. And yes, we want that to be shown on the supplier. Documents. So when we close that form down, we can see underneath that we've got all of the lines that we've just input. We can then resequence any of these if we want to along the top. And we'll make that one there. So this is a summary of the order. We can see all the details in there. Click on save. That will then come up with a confirmation. If we would have put supplier order, it would have come in there as well. This is not our order number. That's to be advised in a second. So we can abandon this order at any point and it won't commit a number into the system. So the total order value, including taxes, VAT, is 248.27. If we're happy for that, it will then generate the next purchase order number in sequence, 18858, and then we can send that over to the supplier. So that's it, very uh, short and sweet. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you do like them. Um, if you want any feedback, leave it in the comments below. Also, if there are any other videos that you'd like to see, and then please put those in the comments and we'll happily create those videos for you. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.